a beautiful summer day in the Yorkshire Dales. Perfect for my attempt to do the Yorkshire Three Peaks Challenge with the team from Mice and Pages to raise money for Spring Hill Hospice. Unfortunately, this wasn't the day that we chose. It's Saturday the 30th of July and I've just arrived in Horton in Ribblesdale um, very very early in the morning to meet the Mice and Pages team to walk the Three Peaks in support of Spring Hill Hospice and it's raining and it's forecast to rain the whole day but as they say in Germany wir sind nicht aus Zucker which means we're not made out of sugar Loosely translated, we're not going to dissolve in the rain. So I guess that makes it okay. Um, see how it goes. Mice and Pages, Three Peaks team. Hey, thank you, Mr. Tang. Lovely weather, guys. Isn't it? Apparently, there's a hill that way. And they're off. Here we go. Oh, we're nearly there, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I think being at the back, uh, you don't want to start off too quick, do you? No, You've no. got to warm your body up. Yeah. Especially with this injury that I've been carrying. Oh, oh. Go on then. What have you been? Well, I've no idea, to? but it's been the same all year, but not stop me running or anything, so all right. it'll be fine today. Well, it's game on. We're um, going up the first of the three peaks, Penny Ghent. Um, and it's that. Sort of drizzly rain where you're not quite sure if you need your waterproofs on or not. Put them on, you just get overheated. If don't put them on, you get wet with the rain. It's wonderful. <laughs> so, Kev, front of the pack going up Penny again. How are you feeling? Not too bad at the moment, a little bit warm considering the weather conditions, but yeah, not too bad at the moment. Yeah, it's always a dilemma, isn't it, with your waterproofs? You know, yeah. keep them on, you get a bit warm. <laughs> and um, this is what we've got to look forward to. <laughs> the splendour of Penny Ghent in the fog. <laughs> How's it going so far, guys? <laughs> Doing all right, yeah? seen me a couple of weeks ago. I was like... Stop. <laughs> I've got 10 feet and I have to sit down. So far, so good. But now you're a machine. <laughs> Terminator, I'll be back. <laughs> I'll be back. <laughs> I went off to Dave and Gummy Bear. <laughs> Dave and Gummy Bear, eh? That's sugar boots. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Peak number one, Penny again. Fantastic. It's not even 8 o'clock in the morning. There you go. You know, quite an effort, but look at that view. It makes it all worth it. Next up is a long, long walk to Ribblehead. And then we're inside. Ah. Okay. We can't stand the rock. Six and a half kilometers in. It's um proper raining now. But hey, and foggy as well. But, uh, yeah. One peak down. Let's see, six and a half. Well, I think that's like 33 days to go. Yeah, nearly halfway. Well, I've done 12 days so far. Um, come out at the bottom of the low ground, or fog, whatever it is. And uh, it's still raining. Not heavy, just that 
drizzly, continuous, you know, drizzly, continuous stuff. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, so 12 days. Well, what's that then? Well, well that's, is that a quarter? Mm. Oh, just over a quarter. Yeah, yeah, well, that's good. Nearly a third. Uh, about a third, yeah, one peak and about a third of the way. And uh, it's about two k's now to uh, Ribblehead Viaduct, where I can top up my water and then um, go at Wernside. Twenty-three kilometres and five and a quarter hours later. My spirits. Well, Hi guys, uh, we're just at the top of Wernside, uh, sheltering behind the wall. Um, I'll show you how bad it is by standing off. Between uh, Wernside and Ingleborough. Stopping for a nice cup of tea. And, um, oh, it was really nice to have a cup of tea and a piece of fruit cake. Still chucking it down and windy. But I treated myself to a nice clean pair of, a nice dry pair of socks. Oh, the lens is getting all covered in water. Nice dry pair of socks, and um, it's amazing what what joy small pleasures can bring. <laughs> right, Ingleborough, here we come. Fantastic, the third of the three peaks conquered. Oh, that was, that was quite easy. tough, that. Easy. Was it easy? <laughs> Shall we do it again? Come on! Well, I made it back to the Golden Lion. 
fantastic. Not sure where the Mason Pages guys are. I think they're, uh, they'll be here any minute. So uh, yeah, challenge done. Fantastic. So Kev, 10 hours 19, you 10 did hours it. 19. Woo! Fantastic, how are you feeling? <laughs> bit sore, bit, bit achy, but otherwise not too bad actually. Ready for a beer. Yeah, and getting a bit dry, eh? Dry. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I like to, I like to de-damp, that'd be nice. Yeah. Beautiful now. I May as well just go for a walk. Have a laugh of honour. So David, David Brereton, <laughs> MD of Mice and Pages, you came, you conquered. We got a little wet along the way, Richard. As I think we all did. 12 hours of driving rain. Cheers. And how are you feeling having conquered the big challenge? In uh, in support of Spring Hill Hospice. Uh, very pleased that we've done that, and uh, we're going to write to everybody who's donated and suggest they give us even more money when we show them the pictures of the rain. But yeah, yeah, it's great. It's great to have raised probably five and a half thousand pounds or something like that. Oh, really? It's up to five and a half already. Wow. Gifted. Thank you, Gordon Brown. Yes. Fantastic. And moving over to Jack. Superstar r you. ran the three peaks. Was it last year? In like four hours and a bit. Six hours, but I'll take four hours. <laughs> How are you feeling? Um, it was it was tough. It was it straight probably harder than running it in some respects. Certainly the, the weather uh, physically felt okay for most of it. Tired legs on the way down, but the, the kind of mental side of keeping going with the, the kind of driving rain was was tough. Yeah, just trying to. It makes everything a bit more difficult, doesn't it? Changing your coat, having something to eat. Um, but yeah, really pleased we've done it. Um, especially now we're back and dry. And in the pub. Yeah, absolutely. So yeah, it's great. And um, what are you drinking there? Uh, Farmer's Blonde. One of one of several tonight. Uh, I anticipate. <laughs> Very nice. Yes. And uh, Andrew. Um, are, are you a seasoned hiker or was it was this a bit of a out of your comfort zone? Yeah, it's a bit out of my comfort zone. It's my first time. I'm proud of myself though. Uh, I wouldn't think to do this in a million years, but now that I've done it and I've got done under the 12 hours, it will feel great to just tell people I've done it. You know, it really builds up that self-esteem. I think that I've uh, always needed. So I think uh, it's really good for that. Yeah. Awesome. Amazing. Nice one. Woo! Awesome. Well, you know you can do it now. Yeah, exactly, yeah. But whether I do it again, I'll have to say. But, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, dry off first, eh? Yeah, exactly, yeah. Give my legs a bit of a bit of a shake, and I will go again. <laughs> and Kev, you, you've had a bit of time to uh, settle down, dry off, and um, have a couple of beers. <laughs> How are you feeling now? Uh, I think the tiredness is uh, is starting to kick in now a little bit, to be fair. But uh, as David said, the money raised is uh, is great. I think I may need a new left foot. That's that's not done very well. It's not survived. Uh, yeah, I, I don't think I'll be doing 24 mile walks for for quite some time. I'll stick to, I'll stick to me between five and tens. I, I quite like them. Sounds like a good plan. Maybe we should get some footage of your blister. What? <laughs> you don't want that. <laughs> uh, no, probably not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Might put the viewers off. Yes, that would put the viewers off indeed. Uh, <laughs> time for a few beers, I think. Excellent, nice one. So, Tom, you uh, you have conquered the challenge, the Three Peaks Challenge in the pouring rain. How are you feeling? Pretty tired, but happy that I managed to do it for sure I didn't expect it to be I, maybe that hard I think that was the weather I think my legs the last two miles started to really feel the pain but yeah happy that I've done it and what did you think about Ingleborough I prefer, preferred it to Wernside actually I think Wernside the weather was really really blustery at the top um, we're having to use the, the wall to try and take cover uh, Ingleborough Oh yeah, the steep bit as you're ascending it, that was a bit, I definitely took a few breaks there. That was, that was tough. And like at the end, you just, you just wanting to get, get up it, so yeah. 
And, to, and are you a seasoned hiker or is this uh, sort of um, a, a, a bit of a, a one-off for you? I hike very irregularly. Um, I did the three, the York, the Rochdale three peaks with these guys um, a few weeks ago. And I, I walked a lot during lockdown. I think most people did, but definitely not seasoned, I wouldn't say. And it showed. So, Kieran, you conquered the huge challenge, three peaks, 40 kilometres, 24 and a half miles, in the pouring rain. How are you feeling? Um, now I feel okay. <laughs> I'd say on the, uh, the last descent, it was pretty grim. Almost from halfway through, actually, it was pretty grim with the amount of rain that there was pouring down. Yeah, but once I've got showered and... Um, dry yeah I feel I feel okay now yeah cool and that descent from in Engelbrad, um, what, what what's all that about then I mean I know what it's about but not everybody will uh, yeah I think um, possibly it might be better on a different day but with all the rain that had fallen I think uh, the path was quite flooded it's more slippery than it would normally be I kind of hurt my knee so it was a uh, slow going on the way down plus the accumulation of the previous miles made it um, yeah worse <laughs> I think uh, and for anyone considering doing the uh, Yorkshire Three Peaks um, what advice have you got for them choose your weather slightly better um, I, think, I think it would have been good it was good but it would have been better if it was just a bit nicer conditions. Like, the temperature was probably perfect, but um, with the with the rain, it was just a bit a bit miserable. So choose choose your choose your weather. Make sure you've got the right equipment. Uh, but yeah, the weather was the main thing for us, I think, today. Yeah. Yeah, because I did some test walks here and. And, and you know the views are absolutely stunning and of course we didn't get to see any of them at all yeah I've um, I've shared some pictures myself and they are basically this, the pictures from the peaks and it's just a little bit of grass white a little bit of grass white so they are from different peaks but it's essentially an identical photo three times over um, yeah no views to be had yeah all, all part of the challenge though it was meant to be if you're a fatalist, it was all meant to be. There was a reason that the weather was total shite for us. <laughs> okay, thanks a lot, Kieran. Thank you, Bruce. Thank you. Rob, I don't know if it's Richard, oh, thanks thanks you've been interviewed. Con <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. How are you feeling? What? What a marathon. Beat up. <laughs> Wet. Tired. <laughs> All that. Yeah. But we got it done. So yeah, good. you got it done. You're still smiling. Yeah. That's all I can do right now. Well done. Yeah. Absolutely yeah. awesome. <laughs> Thank you. Thank <laughs> <laughs> you. I made it to you. Nice one. <laughs> and I've, uh, my, um, when I pulled my leg, it's killing. Yeah, we're all in the same position. I need to, um, so Unfortunately, but we've all took the bottom so that's, that's my work. Fine, to work. I just want to go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> nice one, Stu. Thank you, Richard. How are you Hello. feeling, apart from in pain? I feel it. Um, very proud of myself and very proud of all of us because we smashed it. Fantastic. <laughs> so nice one. We did we did a yeah, amazing. Awesome. I have no words. Awesome. But wonder will we ever meet again until then?